Taurus. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your January 2020 love reading, your monthly love reading. Wow, you guys, 2020 is approaching. It's literally days away. And um, we're going to get your the messages that the Holy Spirit wants you to know in love moving into the new year, the new decade. Um, remember, this is a general reading. It's not personal. Please take it how it resonates. Um, if it's confusing, if it doesn't match, if you're scratching your head, doesn't make sense, doesn't sound familiar, then it's probably not a reading for you. Also, I could be playing, um, I mean, the reading could be playing out for the cross watcher, the person who is in your energy field, your romantic partner. Um, yes, and um, please keep in mind that this is a love zone. This is a, a love zone. Therefore, I will not tolerate or allow any rude or disrespectful comments. No no one attacking me as a reader. I, a reader, I come to you guys with love. And I'm going to read what's on the cards. That is not in my control. Whatever comes out is what comes out. I just relay the message. I'm the messenger, okay? And just keep in mind, like, I do come with to you guys out of love. It's never to attack you. It's never to try to you know, um, trigger you, even if you get triggered, um, that's not my intention. My intention is to bring you the truth, to give you enlightenment, you know, and guidance. And so if that makes you feel some kind of way, don't attack me. I'm just reading what comes out. Okay. And you see me, I shuffle the cards. So I don't know what's going to come out. I don't know you guys personally. So how could I be attacking you? Okay. So, Taurus, my fellow Taurus, let's get into your love reading for January 2020. Ugh, we're going to have to practice saying 2020 because we're used to saying 2019. 2020. It flows better, though. It flows better. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my lovely Tauruses in love? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, truth, healing, freedom. Growth and expansion. Okay. All right. One more shuffle. Okay. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Uh oh. Okay. Spirit. Let's go, guys. Let's go out here. I'm a Taurus son, so maybe the reading will be for me too. All right. The most important messages you need to hear moving into 2020. In your love life, Taurus. What is that? Ace of coin. <laughs> the ace of coin. Ace of pentacles. What is in the subconscious mind? Your subconscious mind. The queen of swords. Okay. Um. The obstacle here is the two of cups. Okay. The potential outcome. That is the nine of coin. Coins are pentacles, if you don't know that. And your advice, Taurus. Wow, is the lovers. Oh, I can't wait to do this reading. I can't wait to get into it because I see some something lovely happening here. The underlying energy is the knight of pentacles, knight of, knight of coin. Okay, so... Your energy is present. There's earth energy here. Let me move these cards. Your energy is very much so present here, my love. We got the ace of coin. We got the nine of coin. And then the underlying energy is the knight. So the nine and the knight of coin. All of those are earth energy. Okay. So the ace of pentacles. Is prosperity, happiness, pleasure, is um, clarity on your life purpose. Like, why am I here? That's pretty much some clarity on anything, really. Why is the Ace of Coin here? Why is the Ace of Coin here? Judgment. Could be awakening to maybe... Maybe your life purpose, maybe something new, beginning something. Maybe you're realizing that something is beginning. Maybe there will be an improvement 
on your happiness, your pleasure. Let's see. Why is the judgment card here? Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight with the Emperor in the reverse. So the Emperor in the reverse. Um, that's... The Emperor reverse is like someone or like like inflexibility not willing to be flexible and just an excessive amount of control so I have a knight of pentacles another earth energy slowest moving knight but he's also very um grounded and stable like he's not doing a whole lot of movement um, sometimes that card is often depicted as negative because it's like, oh, it's moving so slow. But it's actually, um, if you're in a good place, you kind of want to sustain. So it's like a sustainability thing. Sustain your stability. <laughs> Let me see. What is the energy behind the Ace of Coins? I'm not still sure what the message is here. What is the, what is the energy behind the Ace of Coins? Ten of Swords. Something, either something has ended or there's some sort of betrayal. Why the Ten of Swords? Okay. Um, the Hangman with the Two of Cups reverse. So the Two of Cups in the reverse is oftentimes could be like not understanding something like something being a misunderstanding or or um like that could be an argument as well like someone not getting along but in a very very passionate way like maybe some some words were exchanged are, are you looking at so something, I feel like something failed or you, you feel defeated in something, right? With the hangman there, like a, it, it could have changed the way you view things. Like maybe some sort of ending caused you to look at things differently to where maybe you don't understand it anymore. It's like, I don't even, now I really don't get it. Why is the emperor reversed? Okay. The world card reversed. So there is something disappointing here. Okay, let me, let me, let me see. Let me try to figure this out because this is not really super clear to me. I mean, I feel like you are dealing with dealing with someone who is not being very flexible. And I think, was there some sort of argument that made you say, hey, now I get it. I realize that this, I think you, you've awakened to something that this person, <laughs> like, they are not meeting you halfway. That's what I'm getting. Like they, they're not meeting you halfway. And they could be dragging their feet. Meeting you in the middle. Or they're just not meeting you at all. But they're, they're here. And I, I think you're kind of like, well, why are they here? If they if they want to be inflexible, which is causing a lot of disappointment. You know what I'm saying? It's like why is the world reversed? Mm, yeah. Are you, you could be regretting this. It's like why I think you put your energy into someone and it's it feels like it's just not going anywhere. That's what it feels like to me, Taurus. 
and you're feeling the loss, you're feeling the regret. Like, why did I... Let me let me clarify that. Why is the Five of Cups here? You're, you're feeling bad about it. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay. Oh, and you could have possibly just... You're holding back. Like, you've pulled away. I don't think you like whatever, maybe you thought it was something and it wasn't, and you feel, I think you do, you feel defeated, like, okay, well, there's nothing really I can do. I think something came to light, like, it changed the way you view it, something changed the way you view this situation. Why the Ace of Coin is here, I have no idea. The Ace of Coin... I mean, because it also could give you clarity on, like, why things are happening. Why is it, why, tell me why the Ace of Coin is here, Spirit. Why is the Ace of Coin here? Oh. Okay. The Tower Reverse. Oh, snap. The t Whoa. The Tower Reversed with the Death card. So... There's this energy of feeling, you could be feeling stuck. Or maybe there's a new beginning here. I think that's probably why this ace is here. There's just, there's just a new beginning on the horizon for you because I think whoever you were dealing with, like they, they just, they don't, they won't, they don't really cooperate. And it's not that they're, they're not cooperating. I think they, you guys are just on different paths. They don't want to bend. You're not going to bend, right? The tower reversed with the death card. Because the death is like the ending of something. So maybe the old your old way of doing things is coming to a close. That Like that's changing. And I got that with the hangman here. Maybe even just period with this person it could be in your life period because this is like clarity on your life purpose right maybe in love because this is a love reading but the reason why this is here i think because your old ways it's changing this person has shown you something about yourself you've you've awakened to something with that judgment card here it calls disappointment and so you are you've pulled away but it's for a good reason. Sometimes people show us what we need to see. Okay, well, let's move on. Um, but this is the message you need to hear moving into 2020. Those old ways, because the Tower Reverse is just like old ways. Like that, like, like your old ways are getting blown up, okay? No more, like, settling, right? Because if this person is not meeting you in the middle, they're not giving 100%. Like the both of you aren't giving 100%, then uh, I don't, I personally don't advise you to continue to put forth your energy with this person. But what's in your subconscious mind is the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay. So this is, okay, the Ten of Wands. Um, Queen of Swords could be a air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or you could be cutting out something. Maybe you're removing all your burdens. Maybe that's why... Like you're, you've manifested something here. Why is it Ten of Wands? Okay, okay, we got the Queen of Swords again. So the Queen of Swords... Um... I mean, unless you have air in your chart, this was like this. The moon with the justice. Um, I mean, you could have been feeling, maybe you're burdened. I think you are burdened by this. Um, feeling a little bitter about the situation because it seemed like your person was not meeting you. And you might feel some kind of way about that. Um, but with the moon here, there's more, there's like, 
there's more to this situation than you can understand. Which is why I feel like that ace is there. Because I'm like, why is the ace there? The ace of coin is there. I think because there's something bigger for you. There's more to it than this person coming in. I think this person was like a lesson for you. Um, we have the justice card, which is righteousness. This is virtue. This is virtue. This is honor. I think that they, they're teaching you all of this. Like maybe even like the, the, the justice card. I don't, I mean, doesn't really mean self-worth, but it could. And when you think of virtue, you think of honor, you think of things being in harmony. It's like knowing your worth really, um, Taurus. And I see you, you saw that you had the four of pentacles. So you withdrew from that person, which tells me that you do know your worth. You do know, hey, I cannot continue to invest my time into this person. If they're not going to like show up, they need to show up. Cross watcher, if this is you, like you got to show up. And I do realize some cross watchers may never even watch the video. <laughs> but if they are watching... If this is you watching, you got to show up. Or Taurus, whoever this reading is for, that person has to show up for you because um you you deserve it. You you you're worthy of that. And I think you want to cut out all burdens. Like I think you're very burdened by that, feeling somewhat bitter, but it's okay. That's normal. You know, you feel some kind of way about it. Um because they're not, you know, you, 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 you connect with another person with the intent of being with them, loving them. You know what I'm saying? Spending time with them, investing your time. And if they aren't coming, you know what time it is. So the Two of Cups is your obstacle. Maybe it is connecting with this person. Maybe they are detached or disconnected. Why is the, I mean... This, your subconscious mind, the two of swords, that could be your person. They could be an air sign because she's also very cold <laughs> and detached. So she's not just cutting things out. She could be very cold. So why is the two of cups here for the obstacle? Why is the two of cups here for the obstacle? Okay. Three of wands. So the obstacle, I think it's just connecting romantically right with that individual with the three of wands it's just like no like no cooperation it's like they're not cooperating why is the three of wands here the world card but that's okay because that cycle is ending that cycle is ending why the world card there's something new here, I believe, happening for you. The Four of Cups. Um, the Four of Cups. Um, hmm. I like I said. I, I think. I think a like you didn't see. The purpose of that, like why? What? What? <laughs> like why is this person here like what is this for like you know god please help me what the heck it's not a missed opportunity you you might be feeling like dang that was a bus but it i, I feel like it's supposed to happen that way why is the four of cups here maybe um Maybe this could be you just, you know, you're looking at it, you're evaluating it. Why is the Four of Cups here? That Queen of Swords again. The Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, no, I think that's you, my love. I think you're coming off as this Queen of Swords. You could have air in your charts. Um, Taurus. But you're not, you're like cutting things out. That that was in your subconscious mind. So I think you're just like, I don't want to deal with anybody's crap. Sorry, someone's drilling. I don't know what they're doing outside. 
Yeah, I think that's I think that you're coming off as a queen of swords, very dissatisfied. Like you you were not happy with this. Um, so you are pulling back, but you I, I I feel like a part of you regrets this 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 connection. Um which is normal, but I, I think once you learn the lesson, once you understand why this person was here, you won't feel the regret. What is the energy behind the two of cups? The star. Wishing, I think you, you're, this is what you really want. You really want this connection. You were hoping and praying for it, but I, it didn't deliver. Listen, they are not the only person, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, when they don't want, people don't want to meet you in the middle, then that's on them. That's their loss. Why is the stars here? The, uh-huh. So, I think you were wishing and hoping, hoping, like you have faith and um a connection but um i think this card this five of swords is just saying there was defeat like you you didn't win the way you thought you should have or you thought you were going to with this person why is the five of swords here why is the five of swords here Okay, Seven of Swords. This is this is someone um confessing. That's like a confession. Or seeking it or you could be seeking advice. Like you could be listening to tarot, you could be asking your friends um about like what should you do? Why the Seven of Swords reverse? Queen of Cups, water energy, I mean, you are you talk, you could be, you could be talking to your mother, if you have a mother, or a mother figure, grandmother, or an aunt, someone who's that motherly type, you could be speaking with them, because I think you're, I think you're really hurt by that, like, that this person just never came through, why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah. Aw, Taurus. Eight of Wands with the Nine of Cups. So you're definitely communicating. I think you just really needed someone to talk to. Like, I just really need somebody to talk to. Like, how you're feeling. You don't want to hold it in anymore. I think you know what you want. I think you know what you want, my love. Okay. But that's in the subconscious mind, okay? So you probably are talking to people about it because you just feel bad, you regret it, and you're just looking for some sort of advice. Um, so let's get the potential outcome is the nine of coin. She's single. She's comfortable. She has luxuries, okay? Um, why is the nine of coin here for the potential outcome? Why is the nine of coin here? Yeah, I think you feel bad uh, that you had to pull away from this person. But guess what? I think you're going to be straight. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, she's popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's alone. She's single. She's a single, beautiful person. Um, male or female. Um, but she she's very comfortable. Like, you, I think you'll find your comfort zone again. Where you're not dealing and worried about this person. But you, you have a wish card here. Why is the stars here? Like the, your wish. Your wish is what you want will come to you. Why is the stars here? Uh oh. Um, oh ace of wands in the reverse. Um, Because I think you. There was. Maybe you felt set back. Okay. I think you I think you'll get what you want, but I, I I feel like you feel like there was a setback. It's like, oh, I put my time and energy with this person. I don't know how long you guys were together. Um but you feel like now, okay, I got to start over. And it's going to take so long, but that's fine. It but but, but it's going to come. It's going to happen for you. I feel like I was I did this reading for you before. 
like it's going to happen maybe it was in my pick a card i got a lot of a lot of earth energy that could i could be picking up on your energy then too why is the knight of pentacles here i just did a pick a card whoa i just did a pick a card um by the time i put this up pick a card would have posted already so check it out i, I don't remember which number it was but if you're if it's if you're if you gravitate toward it then i think i feel like it was number two i think it was number two so my latest pick a card check that out why is the knight of pentacles here like something was it took so long it's been taking long i feel like you've been waiting you've been waiting for this and you feel like a, like you've been set back why is the knight of pentacles here but i can guarantee you my love it's going to be worth it in the end i promise you why is the knight of pentacles here it's going to be worth it why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You're gonna look at people and be like, why, why, why was I, why was I feeling that kind of way? I was feeling some kind of way about this person. <laughs> why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Especially when you get somebody wonderful, you're gonna be like, what the world? Why was I tripping? Yeah, come on, you guys, come on. <laughs> you got the World card with the Page of Cups. There's a new cycle. We we got that right. Th this is a new cycle starting. Something is ending, something new is coming forward, and guess what? I think somebody's going to have some love to offer you, some emotion to share with you, um, conversations, communications about love. Maybe somebody will ask you out. Why is a page of cups here? Mm, okay, but... I. Th Listen, the fact that the Knight of Pentacles is here, I think you're going to still kind of be in your head about it, concerned, worried. Why is the Nine of Swords here? That's okay. You're going, to, you're, you're going through the healing process, which is normal. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm not worried about you feeling this way. That's normal. Queen of Pentacles. There you are. Taurus. Um, any, any Earth sign, but this is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You're worried. The wheel. Guess what? <laughs> you're worried, but the wheel is here. I think you're worried about... I think you're worried about... Yourself. You're stressing about, I, I think, like the direction you're going in. What's going to happen? Is this going to happen? Because you got this energy of feeling like you have to start all over. But no need to rush. No need to rush. It's going to happen. I got the world card here. I got the star card here. I got the nine of pentacles, which means you're in a good place. Okay, so let's get your advice, darling. You'll be fine. Like, I can clearly see that. I don't want you to worry too much. Um, but you have the... So your advice is the... Okay. Is the lovers. This is your advice. So, um, that's harmony, trust, romance, optimism. Maybe being optimistic. Why is the lovers here for Taurus's advice? The Hierophant. Okay, Hierophant. Um, why is the Hierophant here? To trust. I think I think this is telling you to trust. Maybe you got a King of Wands come through. Maybe. Or you guys you could be in like a commitment. Or you were in a commitment or something traditional. I think this is telling you to trust and or, or be optimistic. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Why is the King of Wands here? Your advice. Could be dealing with the water sign. Um, that oh Taurus, sorry. Hierophant is the Taurus energy. Why is the King of Wands here? I think this is, I think you should follow your heart. Why is the King of Wands here? Like, if you want a certain person, if you want marriage, if you want commitment, you should stick with that. Why is the King of Wands here? Like, don't change for nobody. The Magician, because guess what? Oh my God, Spirit, look, Spirit is even saying like, you're, you can manifest this. I think you are manifesting this. Because I saw that you walked away from that. I saw what you wanted. Okay. And I think this is going to happen. The magician is here. You you have the power 
to manifest your whole entire life. Like, whatever you want to happen in your life. Why is the magician here? Taurus. This Your reading last time was great. This is great too. Why is the magician here? Okay. Six of Swords. You may have to leave something behind. Walk away from something. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Trust your heart. Go with what you feel. Uh, you have to leave something behind. Or you could be juggling. Going back and forth in your head. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Whoa. Okay. The Tower and the High Priestess. So, maybe you are juggling if you want to end something. Maybe with that person you were dealing with. But I feel like you know that they're kind of like a waste of time. I mean, unless they do a turnaround, a complete 180, and they come through and they rise to the occasion and they step up, like, miraculously, <laughs> in some crazy magical way, um, great. But, I, I mean, I, I understand your position. This probably just happened. And so you're kind of going back and forth. But I think you leaving this behind using your intuition using your wisdom like i think this is you all knowing like you know what it is taurus i trust that you know what it is you guys are very grounded spiritual people such as my such as myself and i think you know what time it is uh why the high priestess i think you're kind of like should i just completely blow this up and end it um i think spirit is saying use your better judgment the hangman yes um but I think you need to change your perspective because right now you're kind of, you know, and just kind of prepare for this to not go the way you want it to go. Seriously, that I think the advice is be prepared for this to go left. Because from what I understand, that person you were dealing with, and I'm sorry if this is not what you want to hear. I know we want to hear that people will change and they will come through. I don't know that they won't. But as of this energy right now, I don't see that they are. I feel like Spirit is telling you to prepare for something better, something bigger, a commitment, a marriage even. Um, and that, hey, brace yourself because there may be a tower with this person you're dealing with, okay? So, my loves, that is all I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling my vibe, if you're feeling this reading. Um, this is a great reading, you guys. I'm, I'm happy to see this um, come out for you. And, um, happy new year, my loves. Okay? Happy new year. Blessings. Sending you love. Sending you positive vibes, high vibes. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.